<laughs> my my yeah. internet crashed, Tim. All oh, right, no worries. So I cut the foam. I got two and a half mil, probably piece of foam, razor foam. Place it so it's facing the back of the hook, the longer piece, and then tie it in. Is everybody still on? I think yes. So. Yeah. Uh -huh. so we got our phone there now. We're sticking up. And then grab the new pack. This is um, Tempco arrow wing, and it's the I only use the fine. You'll see there, look fine. And it comes in strands like so. And cut a piece off. And then dub double it. So you got like so one strand doubled. Lie that on the top across the shank of the hook and tie it in. Like so. And then when you've locked it in, if you just twist it, and then figure of eight. Like so. So it's you should all see that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got that in there. Yeah. And then this is beaver dubbing again, and it's rusty spinner. That one. A lovely colour, that Tim, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. I couldn't get none from nowhere, and really fair play to Steve Cooper, he got me some. And then just put a bit of rusty spinner on top of that. And then if you wear off bigger of eight, bigger of eight again, but with a rusty spinner dubbing. Like so. If you need a little bit more, just add a bit more. And then pull your phone between the wing over the top and tie them in. What's the difference, Tim, between razor foam and the foam you get out of craft shops? And um, ra razor foam's really fine. It's only thin. It's well, you can. If I don't know whether you'll see on there, but can you see how thick that is? It, it's literally probably in a mil. Right. It's it, it's, it's really it's lovely stuff. I don't know where you can get it from. To be fair, I'll get mine off semi from Fasner, but. I don't know anywhere else who does it then. No, no, there's hardly anyone, Tim, to be honest. Not that thing, anyway. Bleeding not where we show me now, because you've got to wait with your bleeding. Um, I sent some flies to that. I don't know what I told you. I sent some flies to Damien Walsh in Ireland, and he had a bill come for 25 bleeding quid. Tax. Right. It's wrong, isn't it? Yeah. I just sent him to the. I never thought I could. I should have sent him to the north, and then somebody could have picked him up from there. Or they sent him internally in Ireland. It, <laughs> but it's still the same then, isn't it? Still. You need oh. to send them as a gift, Tim. I, I did. They still had him. You're joking. Yeah, they, they, they had him. The uh, they sent him a the post when the post took him there. They gave him a bill for twenty five quid. 
But um, what was I going to say? If I could have sent it, I've never thought I should have sent them to the north, and then he wouldn't have had a, a nothing on them. It don't matter in Northern Ireland, does it? No, no, because it's we're part of it, don't we? Well, supposedly. <laughs> so cut your foam off. Get your wings. Pick them up. The length, what you want. And there she is. Lovely. I say you don't have to use the turkey bites. You can use the, just the dubbin if you want to. I just think it floats a little bit better with that instead of the, the dubbin seems to soak up with the water in some parts. That's just my theory. You got the segmentation with the, the turkey by it though. Yeah, you have to be fair, yeah. It it looks it looks nicer. I won't say fish is any better, but it looks nicer. That's that. Uh, what claims the noise off the desk and Don't know one more camera. Look. You've got a bit of a cold, Tim. No, no, mate. I don't. I don't know who it is. No, I don't know who that is, Dick. Somebody's got a cold, haven't they? You going to bear walking, Dick? When is it, Tim? Um, oh, God. Uh, I think it's the 4th of August. I think, I'm, I'm sure it's the 4th of August, Derek. Yeah. Are you going to go, are you? Yeah, I'm tying it um, with Phil Brackley. I'll pop up and see you. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, I like Bert. If it's a nice day, it's lovely there, isn't it, Billy? Yeah. Right. Are you going to Ragley all again this time? Yeah, I'm going to Ragley, yeah. The game fair? Yeah. I've just had, um, oh, Derek, uh, Derek uh, Phil's just um, sent, well, he's just sorting our passes out. We stop in there, we are. Oh, okay. Uh, we go down on Thursday, stop Thursday, Friday. I don't know what it was, is it? Years ago, it was, oh, wow. the, it was enormous. Yeah. Sports, oh. be there, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, uh, last time, last year, there was hardly anything there, mate, to be fair. No, no, I'm saying yeah. Oddly, I'm saying. Um, where have I got one? So that's good for Gary Evans, though, isn't it? <laughs> he does well because he's the only one there, isn't he? He was there last year. Really? Yeah, he wasn't there last year. I don't know why. There's no no stalls there. The only one that was there was Van Yard, but obviously they don't sell us in today. No, no, no. So, um, then, then Gary Evans won there now. I don't know what. I don't know what. He he, yeah, he's usually there. He's there most years I've been there. He's been there, but he, he wasn't there last year. The only person who was there last year was Charles Howell uh, and Van Yards and a few other bits and bobs. But, oh, uh, Simba Rods was there. Um, that was it, really. I think there was nobody else there. It's disappointing, isn't it, really? Well, I like, think it's, it's got expensive as well, and it for the stalls, I suppose. You know what I mean? Crazy. Yeah, so I don't know what's happened. Right. This is a. This will be a tricky fly for you to see, but this works well. Here 
It's a, a midge pattern I use. You see that? <laughs> That's a 22, that is. What's his little tip? Tim? Uh, okay, no, um, what's it called? It is. That stuff, but you can use Antron if you want. It's okay. just black poly yarn, but you can use um, Antron. We'll see. Buddy dropped one of these the other week. <laughs> and Buddy, about an hour later, I went to walk somewhere. It was just stuck in my sock and it was in my big toe. Oh. Damn things. This is it. That's a cow for a same book. Uh, find it. Black thread. <laughs> Put a bit of wax on the thread this time. Okay, it's a tail down there. Come down the hook a couple of mil. And get your poly yarn. This is not my idea, this tail. Darren will really show me this. Get your poly on and then split it. The pro you, you probably split a, a length of poly on it in four pieces to get that piece. And then once you've got your poly on, the easiest way for, for you to do it is you can do it with your fingers. If you hold it in your thumb and finger like so, and then put your ackle pliers. So you've got your thumb, finger, and ackle pliers. Then spin your ackle pliers. Just keep spinning it. When it's spun enough, if you just... Can you see that? Uh, push, yeah, them, yeah. push them together, and it'll automatically do that. Okay, right. I was wondering that. <laughs> That's a bit like Derek with his um, flexi floss for his blood worm, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, sat similar. Yeah. So when you've done that, light across the top of the hook, and you want about the length of the hook, half the length of the hook, probably trailing behind. Hold him there with your thumb and finger. Lock him in. Once you've locked him in loosely, you, you can have a look, and there's your little tail. So that you, gives you the, everything, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's small. So when you've tied a minute, <clears throat> put your waist off. I've seen flying about of late. It's that's that's what you're going to be on. Well, that th this works well if you're struggling again. On, I've been I'm using on. the F type F like F F type it's little ends like that. Yeah. You get yourself two natural CDC, line them up. Once you've lined them up, you can have these a, a, a fraction longer than the hook. It's only 
a wing, it doesn't really matter. So you've tied them in. Don't cut the butts off. Get some arrow wing in white. This, this is only for a post, like a side to really. You can use pink or whichever colour you want. I'll just use white. And then tie your, your um, arrow wing. So you've still got your butts, you've still got your CDC. Hold your arrow wing, same length as the CDC. Pinch and loop, pull down. So both tied in then. You can cut, leave your stubs on your CDC, but cut your arrow wing off. A pine squirrel again. Just a tad of see, uh, pine squirrel. Push it up. So you're coming through the middle now of your butts and your, your wing itself. And then pick them up, pull them back. Just touch it bit of this varnish. And then we'll finish. Cut, cut your waist off. And then if you pull your stubs up, like so, you don't need to cut them really short. It's a bit of buoyancy. But I'll just cut, cut them a mill up. And just cut them off like so. And then you put the tail. You see that, Ad? Yeah. That's a, that's a little midge pattern I use. Nice. That, that's a 22. Do you go much smaller than that, Tim? No, that's probably the smallest. I tied 20. Oh, I did. In Bosnia, I saw 24s um, because you have to. Yeah, yeah. You have to, to be fair. I was to Renato, I had some cracking fish in the week on the Ribnik. Big grinding and, and some nice trout as well, to be fair. But, uh, I'm off in September. End of September. I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to it, to be honest. I am being yeah. for Years. Yeah, I've been for a few years, haven't you? No, well, COVID. I've been since COVID, so it's been two no. years. I think that was going out to Austin today or yesterday. Don't know nothing. Oh, Daryl. Oh, mate. Yeah, we Daryl. Oh, no, I'm going with um, uh, Pete Davis, uh, Stu Johnson, and um, Oh, what's his name? Steve Sherlock. Sherlock or something like that. Chapter oh. one coming somewhere. He's got he's coming. There's only four of us going. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I just hope everything's okay and we can get out there like. Mm. Yeah. So that's that one. And that is mostly. What I use to be fair, and then obviously I tie my dubs as well, which I tie me off to show you. It's, it's no good showing you because, to be fair, I'm also the dun. If I start, the, the olive emerger is tied on the K148, and that and that's the olive dun, which is the same, it's just got a tail look. Mm. So all I do is use the same dubbing. And I just had a cock, cock de Leon tailing 
and just put the hackle around and cut them. And that's that's what I use. Mind you. And I mean rod setup, I use a three weight, nine foot three weight. I use um, a barrio line. I got a, a Danielson reel. I put a twelve foot uh, the only uh type of leaders I use are trout hunter. That's the only ones I'll use. Uh, I, I have used uh, Valley Bass, but on 99% of the time I use uh, Trout Hunter. I use a 12 foot one and I oversize them. So if I'm, what I'll do, I'll put a 4X on. So it's really thick on the butt. Yeah, turn over. It turns over better because it's tapering down the line. So I, I'll use a 4X and then I'll, I'll put a tip. I've got a tip. I cut me loop. Well, I don't cut them off. I cut me loops off my fly lines. And then I get Steph to put a um, tippet ring on any string craps I'm on. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, and then I tie me um, my twelve foot tapered lead on, and then I put a tippet ring on the end of the twelve foot, and then I'll either put a, a 0.14 two foot, and then I'll go me 0.12. So I'll go down that way, or I'll just go 0.12. Off the tippet ring, and that's that's all I use. Which Danielson are you using then, Tim? The dry fly. The Danielson dry fly. Um, it's the um, yes, the Danielson dry fly, and then I've got a Danielson nymph, and I've got yeah. a loop. <laughs> I've got a, an original loop Danielson reel, but I don't use that. To be fair, I'll keep that. Do you? Do you, what, mind, do you mind you not having a drag? No, I like, no, I like it like that. I know I do, because you, once that fish is on, he's on, isn't he? And that's it, Tim. Yeah, I like him, I do. I think they're awesome, yeah, honestly. I, yeah, I've I never had no trouble with big fish on or anything with it. None at all. Um, my uh, nymphing rig is on a Vosler with no drag as well. Yeah, I like them, I do. I think they're all yeah. awesome. awesome. Uh, and I've then had a, you want my, uh, I had a, a, a five-pound uh, with uh, Rainbow in Slovenia on me uh, on my nymphing setup. Yeah, and there's you no do. drag on that. As soon as it pulled tight, it was uh, it was tight. <laughs> and I yeah. was sad. Yeah. I mean, you can tighten them up. But I, I just tighten mine up as tight as I need to do. You know what I mean? Depending on where I'm mm. fishing, and, and that's it. Where at me, me, um, my nymphing rig, I use, uh, I put backing on my reel, a bit of backing, and then I bought um, a roll. I've got a thousand meters of strength, blue, blue strength, which is like, uh, it's clear, but it's got a blue tinge to it. I, I still use the Yan Shaman, I do. Yeah, and then all I do, I put a reel off my strength, what I need on there. Then I'm now not a, a tapered leader on, and then I'll put me um, me indicator on. That's it. That's all I use on the nymph uh, rig, um, and then me, obviously me rig itself on the end of the tippet ring. But that it's just simple, easy. For, um, I don't know what else. I'll, I'll just show you a couple. I'm just uh, tying uh, some flies deck for Austin next year. I'll go to Austin next year. And I'm just these these are some that Daryl's given me to do, and I'm just I'm doing them. But that would probably work on a still water, wouldn't it? You see that, Ad? Yeah, lovely. Yeah, yeah I've just tied that. I've just done a few of them. And that's the same tail, CDC, and just um, grizzle ackle around there. And, and cut underneath, that's that. Instead of the fox squirrel, you've used the, the badge. Yeah, I'll just use the apple. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... This is another one for I'm doing for Iceland. And that's just... That's just... Um, the K148, it's got one little tiny bit of tinsel in there, black thread, Orange thorax and CDC. 
What's the orange then? Just dubbing to. Yeah, it's just orange. Um, it's that. Um, that beaver. No, it's um, that um, spectra. That one. Oh, lovely! Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's just that. That and the purple. It's must have, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, I took, yeah, I've got one here. That. Oh no, I've got some. Yeah, I've got some purple somewhere. Uh, yeah, all, all the flies I've tied tonight, that's that's all I've been using all season. Uh, small, tiny flies. I haven't had... The Brook Duns was terrible this time. The Brook Dun hatch was terrible. I don't know why. It no, it's the odd one. Yeah, it wasn't very good, to be fair. March Browns was all right. Uh, Brook Duns weren't very well. The Yellow Mays have been awesome. Even the olives haven't been the best. No, it's funny. Isn't it? yeah, really funny. But the mayflies this year has been incredible, and it? it really has. The mayfly. Yeah. I, I don't see many mayflies. They get a few on the us, but not many. Yet, to be fair, not not many at all. I'll tell you. Um, I'll tell this for you. Um, is Derek still on? Or is he crashed again? No, Derek's still there. No, I'm, I'm still here, Tim. <laughs> I put myself on to mute because they're coming in and out here. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, if anyone's interested, I found a load of reed pheasant tails in the garage today. Yeah, I'll tell you what they're good for is... Um, I use them for, um, oh God, I just said it, uh, Brook Duns for the body, the fibres I use them for the bodies. Well, if you're ever passing through this way, give me a shout. There's, there's a load in there. All right, Matthews. Okay. Um, They're this, four foot long. This is a stick <laughs> blue gun, this is. And this is a 16. Same again. Same. I, I swear by this one too. Um, Tan thread, and then I've got This is um, Temco uh, dry wing again, aero wing. And just cut yourself a piece, double it. That's what you mean. And then just figure it out. And then round a couple of times, just keep the post together. And once you've locked your post in, if you whip finish your thread off there, cut your thread off. Just oh. Melvin's still on. No, Melvin's gone. Where are you going? And Paul. Oh, Paul's Paul's gone. His missus is there. Melvin's at the game fair, isn't he? Yeah. Right, this is Globe Right number three. 
and then tight on behind your, your post. Cut your waist off. And then take, your, take this down to the bend as a butt. And then just build a little ball up. Bring it back up. And then just watch finish. That's your, your glow brush on with. And then if you get a little tiny bit of varnish, Just put that on the butt. I'll leave it dry a sec. And then reattach your thread. And take it back down. Cut your waist off. Take it back down to the butt where you've made your butt. And then this is a rusty spinner collar, but I don't think it's nothing like a rusty spinner collar, but it's called a rusty spinner, but it's like a brown with a yellow tinge in it. And it works for, well for this pattern. I used it the other week, it worked well. I dubbed that. Push your needle up. And then just dub it and build up. Type it up. What size hook again is that, Tim? Uh, 16. 16. I use 14, 16s, 18s, 20s, and 22s. That's all I use on the river deck. I, I might use, I'll show you in a minute. I'll use, uh, it, when I'm, if I'm tying Brook Duns, I'll use uh, the uh, Caddis Emerger hooks, which are a vet. For this, that's a 14, but they're mass, they're, they're a massive hook. Look, if I that, that's what I'll use for hook guns, right? I'll tie them in a 16, 18s, and 16s, and 14s, but they're quite large. That's probably the biggest ones I use. So we've dubbed up to the back of the post. And then I use a this is a a rusty a rusty natural gun, which I went everywhere to try well, Pat Nolden got at me in the end, but it's beautiful. <laughs> nice. Get your ankle, strip your waist off. And tie it in with the good side facing you and the feather facing to the back. Again, pull your, your waist back. It just secures it in. And there we have, cut your waist off. And then we thread the back of the post again. 
tiny bit to a bit. And then behind the post, if you bring your dub in just to cover and work your way to the eye. Like so. And then your ackle, again, put a full turn at the back in front of the post. Two turns, lock him off. Touch of varnish. And then Wait, finish. I'll cut your waist off. Again then, just, I always trim them underneath. They sit better on the water. And then just trim your post. Like so, and that's what I use for uh, iron blue. Just all, all you want to do is put a bit of varnish on the red. It brings it out a bit better, and it glow bright's terrible for fraying when uh, on the oh. too. that's uh, that's why I use an iron blue. Do. Simple, but they sit. They look nice on their mugs, don't they, Adam? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I think they do anyway. They sit natural in the water, they're not. Well, yeah, it does. It makes it look more of a natural pattern, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Even even if you look at... Um, even if you look at the, the dun itself, even the dun with the tail, doesn't look out of place. No, no. You know, the way it sits... I find I think they crack, crack. A lot of people are using these at the moment. To be fair, there's one sat fit by sat. He's that's him. He's on, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Like, is it? Yeah, he's on. He's on. Yeah, yeah. He ain't coming up. But deck. That's all the patterns I've got tonight. You would do us a favour and and photograph them and put them on the WhatsApp group, would you, Tim? Yeah, I will tomorrow. Dex, I've finished. I've finished at ten in the morning. I'm only going to go for a couple of hours. Magic. So I'll do them, and I'll I'll, I'll do them for you. But, uh, yeah, that's that's the patterns I use on the river. Uh, same as Paul said last week. It's simple and easy. I, I, I you know, you all know. I love tying wet flies. I love tying them. I've got boxes and boxes here, but that's just me. I'll be there. He's tying wet flies. For my fishing, I just tie them and. Same as Paul did. Then the what I use for fishing, and that's it. And uh, I think you got to time simple. If you look, we all use, we all lose a fee. We all get snagged up. We all get caught in a tree. We all get snapped off. So it's, you need them simple and easy to to, to retie. You know, well, there, it is the boxes. That, that's them's the boxes I use. Little tiny boxes, look, and that's there's, that's got me emerges in. I've got another with me, me duns in, and then I've got some with a few more different patterns in, uh, spinners and things like that. And that's it, that's all I use them. Love little boxes, them I'm at, I think they're six quid. Where are they from, Tim? Um, the best place to get them from is Farlow's. It's free delivery. And I've got two coming tomorrow, actually. Uh, Farlow's is the best. Glasgow Angling do them as well, but um, Farlow's has got free delivery on them, too. 
But that, that's them lovely little boxes just deep enough. I like them anyway. How many compartments? Is there about 12? 12 in there. So there's one, yeah, three, six, not 12, yeah. They're only probably, I don't know, inch and a half. Inch and, inch and a half square, probably the, the squares. They weren't all big flies, but you can get a bigger box deck. The same, same box, uh, but bigger compartment. The same make box, but bigger compartments and a little bit, bit bigger box for bigger flies. Yeah. But want some, Derek? Yeah. I've got a load in the garage. Magic. But I found some treasure in there of late. I can tell you. I've see what. And then these ones had. Similar, Tim. Not yeah. not all as the bigger one. You know, with the bigger compartment. Yeah, I just sent for some. Actually, this they're coming tomorrow uh, for me. Bigger fly, me. You know, for the late flies and that sort of type. Yeah, that's all I use on the rivers. Ninety-nine percent. And I will. If, um, you know the what the slotted boxes with the blue split foam in as well. I found a load of them as well. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Well, I'll give you a load. Here's a load, didn't I? Yeah. And then that's even that, the tack berries Tim. That's, that's just a simple <laughs> clean camera I'll tie, uh, and I only tie them to put um, a nymph underneath for, for fishing the yeah. and that. Makes a difference. Makes a change to gear, Ed, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's the proper clink and dink, isn't it? Yeah. That's, uh, it's not very often. Dropper, though, Tim. Pardon? Do you, do you do, like, a, a three-turn water knot and have it on a little dropper? Always. Yeah. yeah. I think, uh, well, I don't know whether it's me or not, but I think it fishes better on the dropper. I think so. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Some people. Are so I'm not a fan of. I'm not. A fan of it. No, what no. About you, Tim. I'm not no, a fan. I don't. No, no, no. I think the fish feels it before. You know, you know what I mean. He's mouth, doesn't he? Yeah. The tip. Oh, that's just me, and well, I just. Think yeah, I think. Right. think you're right. So, any questions? That was great, Tim. Thank you very much indeed. No worries. As um, where's our host tonight, Danny? No idea. But there's a lot of lads had trouble getting on. Some some still couldn't make it. I wonder why they. Um... Big, big uh, Pete Hiley couldn't get on. Yeah. Um, Adam had a problem, didn't you, Ad? Yeah, it was like um, you had to put in the number and. Then he, oh, it was a nightmare. Your ID code and everything on it, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wrong. It's, it's normally you're straight in, aren't you? But he wouldn't do it. Strange, isn't it? Strange. Plus, the internet has crashed, so perhaps it's a problem on my end with the internet. It might be deck. Deck, I said. It might be something to do with the invites to start with, Derek. It's just something wrong, definitely. Yeah. It it happens, doesn't it? The, oh, the, te the, the signal on the phones has been terrible lately, honestly. Oh, awful, yeah. Mine's been well, terrible. Because some couldn't get on. I, I sent the invites via text. Yeah. And Adam managed to get on, and I think uh, Andrew managed to get on using using the phones. Well, I, I got on. I said, uh, uh, Ray, register again for Zoom. But also, I said the internet was down, and so there was a cable loose or something. So I'll go and check all of them first. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm back in a second. Yeah, Derek, if anyone asks for any Reeves pheasant tails, I've, I've got quite a lot in the garage. I'll have one off your ad. I'll I'll have have I've, still, I've still got them uh, foam things for you. Yes, yes, I thought I'd give you a reach for tail already. No. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you're welcome, yeah. I'll bring them all, Derek, and then you can hand them out if you want. Okay. Next we're, ne next week, there's no Zoom meeting because we're down the pub next next Thursday. Yeah, yes. I've got 
got quite a few pheasant tails and all sorts of stuff for you anyway. I've got to get there sometime. <laughs> I'll bring these boxes. Oh, oh. Cheers, Ed. You know yeah, no. uh, Gwent Anglin? He's the way. Um, when I said about the uh, directions. Yeah, they're going to try and put bigger, uh, better signposts. I've got them for them. <laughs> they're sending him a sat nav. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I would never found it if I hadn't gone with Peter, like. Oh. <laughs> It ain't the easiest place to find, is it, Dick? No, uh, I scratched on the side of my car as well. Did he? Yeah. I was fishing yeah. to Ed up the other day, and Fred says to me, he says, what's this? He says, who scratched us, the, scratched the side of your car like that? And it's, it was where we went down that dip. Oh. I, um, I wouldn't have found it. I, I'm, the only reason I'm there is because Rob had been there, and he was there when he found me, and he, he directed me in. I wouldn't have found that. I I had to ring them. Uh, I wouldn't have found that. No How's your ankle now, anyway, Derek? Pardon? How's your ankle? Yeah, my ankle's not the problem. It was the back of my leg, the calf. Oh gosh! It it tore it like halfway up between my ankle and my knee. It like tore halfway. Did Pete have to drive home? Yeah, Pete had to drive home. Ah, yeah, ah. The only reason he had a bad ankle, mate, he was on the drink and he wanted Pete to drive back. That's all it was. <laughs> uh, well, you know him as well, then, do you? <laughs> thanks for tonight, Tim. No, you're welcome, mate. Any time. Yeah, thanks. Oh, no. I'm just simple flies. That's all I've been using all season. That's all I've used, honestly. Yeah. We, uh, that fish I had last week, that was on... Uh, a little olive merger. Hey, did you see that fish Terry Bromwell had had? No. That, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, nice. What a beauty. He was fishing the internationals and he, he uh, it, 10 pound in weight that was. Bloody hell. Yeah. Where were they? He was on the Don up in Scotland. Christ. Hell of a fish, mate. For a while, there, yeah. It's a, a record. It's a record on an international ever caught. I think it's a record off the Don. I don't think anybody will ever take that trophy off him. I wonder how old that fish was, Tim. He'd be hell of an age, wouldn't he? Yeah, he's hell of a fish, mate. Obviously, it's huge. He only he caught that on three pound tippet. Did yeah. He? Yeah. Yeah. There's no way trying to fight something. You've got to just wait till he's knackered, don't you? Yeah, yeah, he would, yeah, he'd have to do that. He reckoned it was hell of a fight. Did he put it back or did he keep it? No, he's put it back. He's, he's put a video up tonight actually releasing it. Yeah. As well, long as he got the picture, that's proof enough, isn't it? Yeah, he, he said he was like a kid in the sweet shop. <laughs> yeah. He deserves it, fair play to you. Yeah, he's a good, good fish. Yeah, it ain't something you want to catch in a competition. It'd take him too long to catch it, land it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fair play to me. I don't know where Vigo is tonight. Well, he was poorly last week, wasn't he? I think he's, he might be fishing. I, I, I've got a feeling he's fishing, so I'm sure he put some pictures up. They're going to they're gonna make the most of it while they can, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. 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 Them bloody mosquitoes there, though. Fuck is. Oh, God. When we oh. Sweden, oh, Sweden got beat to death, honestly. Yeah, yeah. And then if you touch me, I don't know why, but Sweden, they beat her to death. It's your blood group. The on... alcohol in your blood. <laughs> it's something o... to do. Yeah, blood in it. I'm O positive, and it's like a magnet to them, that is. Yeah. <laughs> I get bites on bites. Yeah. Female yeah. pheromones. Tell you what, Alaska, like um, birds, Tim. Uh, Bastards. Uh, I hope there's no one in Argentina, I tell you. I don't think they get them much, do they? I hope not. <laughs> I don't think they do. Stevie um, Reed, he'll tell you, Stevie Reed, he's just come back. It's yeah. early January, so summer, you see, that's why we go then. It's, it's snow there now. Yeah. 
Oh, he might. You know, it's been probably a few months since he's been back, actually. He, he had some cracking fish he did out there. Absolutely no. Bonking fish. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking for... I'll enjoy that. Yeah. I, I think, I think Slaney's been out there, hasn't he? I don't know. He's gone. I'll have to ask him next time. To speak. I'm sure. I'm sure he went to Argentina. I'm it sure can, he did. can be terrible, windy though, Tim. I 